In the first half of my career, I spent a lot of time in the building materials, construction, and land development world. And in that environment, safety meetings were important. In fact, they were mandated. We used to have these tailgate talks, and it was not uncommon to be reminded in those talks that in this company, in our culture, safety was first. Safety came before everything else. That was the most important thing is that we stay safe. I want to tell you that that's all bullshit. Safety's never first. It's safety third. The key is to get started. Early in my construction career, I was hired to work for a company and, and we built dairies, big, huge dairies. And they're, uh, they're very tall and big and, and, and there's, a lot of, there's a lot of room to get hurt in that kind of construction. So I get hired on and I'm replacing somebody. And that's great, it, except I find out after about two or three weeks on the job that I'm replacing someone who died. He actually was stepped out on a, on a rafter and it broke under him and he fell over 20 feet onto concrete. It was tragic, it was terrible. And for a moment I'm like, what have I done? But you know the thing is, in order to get that kind of work done, you take risks like that. In that company, we had safety meetings all the time. But at the end of the day, we went back up onto those beams and walked them and we built barns. Safety was probably third. I used to wear a t-shirt, black t-shirt, big white letters, and it just said safety third on it. And I'd walk around town in this shirt and you could just see that it would catch people's eyes and you, their mind would start spinning. Well, eventually somebody would ask, well, it, what, what's one in two? And I had a stock response. I would just say, I don't care. Just make sure you have at least two things in your life more important than safety. I thought about that so much that it actually became one of the core values of Icon Coaching. We believe in safety third. You walk into a manufacturing environment, a construction environment, an environment that is inherently dangerous, and you will see a banner, or we used to see banners up on the wall, and it would say, at our company, safety's first. And then right under it would be another line. It would say, it's been blank many days since our last injury. Why blank? Well, because they had to keep erasing it and starting over, because they had injuries. Because in fact, if safety was first, they would just stop doing the thing. It turns out that many things that need doing or that we want to do or things that bring meaning and purpose in our life are inherently dangerous. And so we make safety a priority but we're lying to ourselves if we think safety is first. It's safety third. In our world today, many of us aren't working in manufacturing environments anymore. We're working in creative and innovative environments where work is complex and it requires a way of being in the world that is inherently dangerous. If you're trying to do innovation, it is dangerous to do the kind of thinking that is innovative. It's abnormal, it's unfamiliar, it's unreasonable, and it's dangerous. If you're working in teams where collaboration is of great value, it takes a, ver a kind of connection that is vulnerable. And vulnerability is always dangerous. You can't make vulnerability safe. What you can do is create safe places in which we can do dangerous things. That's what I mean by safety third. You gotta have things that are more important than safety if you wanna bring meaning and purpose to your life. If safety is actually first, most of what you're doing, you'd have to stop immediately. And that's just boring not worth it. Why don't you figure out the things in your life that you're doing that, that are more important than safety and own them and do them and then do the work to create safe places in which you and your team can do dangerous things. I would suggest to you that you'll get more important things done. You'll create more value in your life and the, and the people around you and that you'll bring more purpose and meaning back to work. And that, my friend, is dangerous. It seems to me that everything that brings meaning and purpose to life has a degree of danger connected to it. Safety third is probably about right. Safety first, I don't think exists, and if it does, it'd be incredibly boring. Safety last, that'll just get you killed. That's dumb. But what safety third invites us into is an understanding that there are things worth doing that are dangerous. That's what brings meaning and purpose to work.